What's up guys, you're watching Bob's Decline. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how this thing can help you troubleshoot. Generally speaking, a bad connection on the power lines creates resistance, and that resistance causes heat. So what a thermal gun does is it actually measures temperature. This is just a cheap one, they're probably about $600. We've got some bigger cameras that work straight from the ground. They're easily worth a couple thousand. This is one I carry on my trouble truck. It actually gives you a visual representation of the temperature as well. Red being hot, blue being cold. That don't sound good. There's two riser poles here side by side, quite a few customers on them. Now what a riser pole is, is where underground wire comes up, taps onto the overhead lines. There's a fair amount of load on these cutouts. They're 200 amp doors with 140 amp fuses. We're going to do a quick inspection of the pole to see if there's any bad connections on these cutouts. We're going to pay particular attention to the fact that they are porcelain. If there are any cracks in the cutouts, they might not necessarily register as hot. A lot of times, if it's not a humid day out, there's no reason for the electricity to track through the cracks. It's actually just starting to rain and snow a little bit. It's the perfect time to check a pole for hot spots. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're up in the air here now. One of the first things we're gonna check, of course, before we get any closer to the work area, is a visual inspection of all the equipment on the pole, any loose ties, cracked porcelain, pretty much anything that could be of a hazard while I'm in this workspace. So one of the things I noticed during my inspection, you can see this lightning arrestor on the center phase. There is a small crack on the attachment point where it's attached onto the L bracket. That's not interfering with that device electrically. However, it will at some point likely fall off that bracket, cause some issues. There doesn't appear to be any cracks in the porcelain. Other than that, everything looks good on the pole. Everything's tied secure, pretty good shape. Let's take a look at it now with the thermo cam. So you can see in this picture, Everything is the same greenish yellow color. We're at about minus seven degrees Celsius. About minus 3.7. Let's check out our other riser pole. Oh, would you look at that? So so as you can see on that cutout, we've got a couple hot connections showing up. The cursor on it, we are reading. Oh, I seen, think I've seen a seven there. Could be a little bit of corrosion on the connection points where the door is sitting. The cutout body itself is not hot, so it's not likely a cracked cutout. The other red spot you see in the background is a store off in the distance registering some heat on the camera all right guys that's great we got an opportunity to see how a hot spot shows up on power lines thermal cam is kind of like x-ray glasses for linemen you can't allow these to give you a false sense of security either like i said there could be a crack in that cutout all the same it may not be registering any heat if it's not tracking we will schedule a crew get an outage on the go here and replace that lightning arrestor as well as that hot cutout door. In fact, we'll likely change the cutouts to a polymer while we're up there, get rid of those porcelain guys. Man, that wind is cold out there today. Thanks again for watching another one of my videos guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.